So here is the complexity of the universe at the origin of the universe. And then the, here's all the possible things that can happen. So complexity with time is increasing, increasing. So these are all the possible things that can ever happen. This is the things that actually did happen. And you had an increase in complexity, but these are the things that happened. These are all the things that could have happened. So out here would have been unicorn. The unicorn could have happened. There's no reason not to, but it didn't. So one of the things that came about as Carrie and I um, met and found we had all these things in common and we're talking more and more about science and, and art was that the way that I approach a drawing um, is very much the way that complex systems um, are developed. developed. And so we started looking, looking more closely at how it happens in science and how it happens in the arts. What happens in the complex systems is that you have global emergent patterns which cannot be predicted from the individual subunits. So a complex system, a whole emerges, which is greater than some of its parts. And the most obvious example is uh, consciousness. If you study neuron of the brain to death, you're not going to understand the evolution of consciousness. Consciousness involves the interaction of all these neurons acting in concert, dancing together in some kind of concert. So it's an epiphenomenon. I, I make these marks, but then I look at how they relate to one another, and then I kind of look at how the whole thing sits on that page. And it's getting better how it's sitting on the page and then compositionally this is beginning to kind of rest here and it's got some weight. Um, but, but this as a form is, is not terribly interesting to me. So I think I'll just take that guy back out. If I wrote the code correctly, if I, had, if I understood a little bit of what maybe the fish in real life are doing, they will begin to school. Or if they were birds, they would begin to flock. And you can see the schooling patterns. And these guys went off, but then they find each other and they walk. And, Really what's underneath all this is three rules that the fish are following, that if I'm too close to another fish, I back off. If I'm too far away, I try to find fish, another fish. But if I'm just right, I align my heading, my direction of swimming in the same direction the other fish are going. But every fish does this simultaneously. There's no head fish, there's no head honcho. Every fish is responding to every other fish, but a fish back here, it was not gonna feed a seed of fish up here. So I'm taking local cues to form a global pattern. So one of the things we did with the class is we, we, we did this, this demo, right? We showed them how you have to make all these choices based on everything that's here. And then we went out to the balcony where there's a whole bunch of debris. And we had them create a composition that responded specifically to the space in the balcony. Right? Um, so they had to make the same set of decisions, right? They had to kind of go along and say, how does this relate to this, to, to this part of the space? Am I activating the whole space? And so if I, if I go back to this and talk about activating, I'm slowly activating it. Interestingly enough, I think when I got rid of this, this begins to have a little more breath to it. Um, but I still need something that kind of come up in here. I don't quite know what that is. Um, so she's, she's working to make each subunit work with every other subunit so that it creates a structure which is the whole which all parts are in service to it and holding it and giving it life and sustaining it. Our, our initial impulse uh, was to look at how we could create this reciprocal dialogue between art and science. But I think what we're slowly discovering is something that is more a model for, to use your word, the interface between uh, disciplines. This language of complex system is the bridge is not the bridge, it's a bridge between art and science in a way which gives you a, a vocabulary for both. Yeah. What was missing was this. Now it's perfect. I, I have that. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's that. What is that?